how to stop weeds growing in block paving so you'll see a quick little overview of the plan today i'm going to try what i did on my slabs and see if it works on the block paving so these are bricks on the ground you'll need a few essentials just to keep uh, this uh, session going what we've got here is some gloves you need something to pull out the existing weeds you can use anything you don't need to get fancy with this You'll get loads of professional builders using all sorts of fancy tools and making you spend your money. Use what you have. You'll see you can use a spoon, the back of a handle. If you've got an old bricky uh, scraper, you can use that, the bricky breaker. Uh, a shovel, uh, a hand trowel, uh, scraper. I couldn't find my painting scraper, so I'm using a variation of these. So you'll notice the gaps are smaller. You can even use a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, whatever reaches in the gap. So the main idea here is I'm going to do a little area just to see how well it does. I've got a little brush here to brush away the debris and another one to clean it. Um, and we'll see how well this performs. If you're thinking about this, this will give you an idea. So I've got rapid setting cement and I've got building sand. Had a lot of questions about the type of sand because obviously there's people from all over the world watching this. Um, I've got building sand which is suitable for building brick walls and putting paving slabs down. It's a very fine sand some sand is thicker and will not work as well so keep that in mind you may have to do some testing uh, get a couple of bags and see which do a small area and see which one works for you so sometimes it's worth measuring or trying it in your own area to see what works because what works for me may not work for you so what we have got here is loads of bits of grass growing in between the gaps my main garden area is all slabs so big two by two foot slabs and then I have a little walking area in front of the house which is these uh, fancy bricks and we had a cowboy builder who put these down and it's not very good because we get uh, they're all uneven and water spools in different places so at some point this is going to be lifted up anyway however it just shows there's all sorts of builders out there that will try their best but yeah sometimes in most scenarios you'll end up with somebody that's going to give it a whack and not do a good job so here we're just trying to make the best of a bad situation. You can see I'm using a flat screwdriver and going through the gaps just to get rid of the grass and all the moss that's growing there. The main thing here you want to do is have a clean surface to work by and we'll see what the results are at the end of this and you will be the judge of it if it's something you want to do or not do. Um, and yeah, the comment section is open so if you're a professional builder watching how-to videos, make sure to let us know we're doing it all wrong and we need to hire a builder who will do it worse than what we're doing here. So you'll see now here, this is the moss being taken out of the gaps and I'm using a flat screwdriver which is a very professional tool but as time passes I tried a few of them, the spoon, an old spoon actually works pretty well. The handle of it fits inside the gap and the spoon area allows you to take the bigger moss away. So the bricks I'm using here, are the bricks on the floor are normal paving blocks or bricks. You'll see I'm going in a couple of centimetres there and the gap is probably one or two millimetres and in american quarter one quarter inches i don't know what the measurement there will be but very small basically and um, so the idea here is will my sand and cement fit in these gaps can we do what we did in the block paving a lot of people commented on the uh, slab video asking if it can be done on block paving so the best thing is to try it i don't understand why you don't give it a go and see if it works for you so that's what i'm doing here for you because you can watch and see if this works so I've taken out a little corner and I'm basically trying on this section. If it works, hooray, well done, it'll work for you as well. If it doesn't work, then you won't need to waste your time or money. So what I've got here is I'm just sitting on the floor, taking my time, find a nice day to do this. And you can just start in one corner and slowly work your way up the, the garden. Uh, don't overexert yourself, you know, you don't need to do it within 10 minutes. Uh, do a little chunk in a day, do another chunk tomorrow, clean it all out. And as you're working through it, you'll, you'll slowly see how deep the roots go. So under this brick block work, the amazing cowboy builder that we had did not put any membrane down. This is going back 11 or 12 years, I think. These have been here 11 or 12 years. And every now and again, we'll get loads of grass growing out of there. And, you know, when you see these kind of things, you start learning and thinking, you know what, I'll just give it a go myself. How much worse can I do compared to that apparently inverted commas build the uh, speech marks what do you do the speech marks your hand the the professional builder that came from seems to be a lot of these episodes are having a go at builders but it seems just uh, pointing out that it's there may be some good out there i'm just out of the thousands we've worked i've not found a single one so i'm just sharing my uh, opinions there so yeah as we're working through the bricks here you'll see you're cleaning out individual 
grass from here you're taking out any excess muck mud stones and the moss so the better we do this here the hopefully the better the results will be so once we're basically cleaning these up you're starting from one corner you're working your way up and some gaps you'll be able to fit your uh, makeshift screwdriver in and your spoon or scraper or whatever you're using in some you will not just do the best you can do and clean it out and see how it works out because once we get to a certain point we need to be able to get sand and cement down in these gaps will that work well we'll find out i um, also give you should i give you a view of my uh, garden slabs because a lot of people said uh, what i did on my garden slabs wasn't very good and we're maybe what six years later i've still not got weeds growing so what i've done there did work and so just so you, you've got all the, the people that were worried about that uh, the slabs did well now this one here is more of an experimental situation so we're going to see how well this does the cement i feel the bricks the blocks are porous the cement might coat uh, the bricks we're using a sand and cement mix we're going to brush it over be prepared for the bricks being discolored but i feel the next time any rain comes uh, it should clear off the bricks and this will be hopefully sinking down into the gaps so you'll see it's basically like double sand to cement that i'm using you could do 50 50 like one cement scoop to one sand scoop or you can do two sand to one cement which is what i'm doing here and there'll be little chunks in the sand just where the moisture is in there uh, mix the sand and cement together and start brushing it into the gaps it's not rocket science um, you're basically filling up the gaps with something that's gonna uh, avoid any other grass or seed going through it uh, this will not be a solid uh, cement mix it's gonna be something that will dry over time in the atmosphere and the ground you naturally have moisture and the moisture gets drawn up when you put something sand on there. It's basic uh, science chemistry kind of situation. Uh, so if you're not too clued up on that, make sure to let me know in the comments and share your views on that. So you can see here, I'm just basically brushing through and filling up the gaps that I created with a sand cement mix. And that will slowly fill up the gaps now. Is this the best way to do it? But that's why we're making this video. Because a lot of people have asked the question, can we do it? I was not sure because I've not done it personally. So we're giving it a go. Can we do it? We'll find out and we'll share this so you can see live what happens. Whether it works or doesn't work, uh, we will see. So this corner here, how many bricks is this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. About 12 bricks in the corner is where we've done this solution. I'm going to leave the other side with the moss and everything growing in there. And see how long it takes for this side to stay like it stays. Uh, I realized I made quite a lot for the, the area that I wanted because in the slabs that I did before they were quite deep these bricks are not as deep and the whole uh, gaps are not as big so any excess mix you've got here take it away and you can use that uh, later on in the bigger gaps so firstly we're just going to give that a go now the moisture in the ground will draw up between these and create a suction seal and if that works correctly like it did on our slabs uh, then you should be good if not then yeah you've seen what happens if it doesn't do right what I will do in the end of this uh, once I've done this I'll give you a link to my other block the slab video that I did and that was extremely well that worked and that does work a lot so you'll see the mix here just to bring you back the mix is a good mix and we're basically putting them in these gaps so this is uh, showing you before I put the mix down just so you can see how big the gaps are and they're not that big at all so some of the sand and cement will go into there and some of it will not so keep that in mind and make sure you take your time and see where the big gaps are and cover them you'll have to brush over a few times because as the cement sinks it might work what i will do i think in a later section of this i might do just a cement only section without sand and see how that does because cement is more fine than sand so you might be able to get more cement down there but i find when cement and sand is mixed together it's stronger versus having just cement on its own so consider that and think about it when you're doing it so you'll see this is the type of mix you're doing you've got a, a color there that you can see how the cement is being mixed in so sand and cement because i thought it'd give it a better color closer to the bricks themselves because the blocks on the floor are slightly ready pinky and that's the type of mix i'm doing here so yeah take your time think about it work it out see what happens and give me a couple of days and i'll see or maybe a week let's give it a full week and see how it looks after a week and you can be a judge of that so if you're not already following subscribe to the channel i'll do a, a community post update with like a photo 
or if I can be asked, I'll do a, a proper video for you, depending on how many people want to see it. Um, but yeah, so this is more of a personal journey just to see how well it works. Quite a lot of other projects going on at the moment, but I took some time out to do this because a lot of people are asking basically. Still got the extension house project going on, which is finishing, and the uh, extra bathroom toilet in the upstairs, which is coming along shortly. So you'll see that in a, a later episode. It's been a couple of months. There's quite a lot of progress, but it's just I need to make the videos and update you guys with it. Just while I was doing this commentary on this video, it's been about 10 minutes since I've just done this because this is literally me just making the video right now. I went back outside and you see what it looks like right now. So see how the, the gaps around the brick are darker in colour. That's because it's drawing up the moisture from the ground. So overall it looks okay. The gaps could be filled better, but we'll see how it does in a few days. So check out the updates.